Hey, what's up everyone? It's A Gamer here, and today I'm going to be showing you some ARC PvP traps. So I've never seen a video made on actual traps in this game, so this is kind of exciting for me. So today I'm just going to be showing you one of our simple builds. So this is a two stone foundation, one sunken because of this little pillar right here. And then you put bed on the upper pillar and turn it sideways. And on the upper foundation and turn it sideways. And you have your little trap down here. Now you can add C4 to this as much as you want. I like, I'm going to add two for the purpose of having a little bit of bang. Rewire it or unwire it, depending on that. And you can make it where if someone runs in or out, they'll get blown up. And then you add in your walls and make this a little cozy home. So as you can see, it's some, like something you'd see on the beach every day. Not really something suspicious or anything like that. The trick here would be to leave your door or something open so people would run in and not just blow it up. Or like have your door left open or someone kill you just outside your door something along the lines of that so here we go that's the basic idea then you call over like a volunteer to test it out for you oh I guess he tested it out for us and as you can see that worked pretty well Loved the whole building okay and another thing you could do is like for people who are farming just take out C4 and like not really these small trees, but bigger trees, and like place it on the bottom of it. So when someone comes over and farms it, it'll blow up. It'll just blow them up. And I'm waiting for my volunteer to get back. That'll just be a minute, literally. Um, next thing is these little rocks right here. Some of these rocks, I don't know why I can't find many of them. Yeah. Anyways, some of these rocks you can run up. Not these big ones, but the lower ones. Yeah. Some of the lower ones, you can place these little traps inside on Ragnarok, and they hide them pretty well. Like, yeah, but they have to be bigger, and you can just hide these inside them. It doesn't really work too well if these are too small. Oh, Volunteer's back. Perfect. Um, Volunteer, can you play, take the pick? Thank you. Take this pick. And, uh... Right over here. Can you farm me some wood? Don't hit the sea. F don't hit the thing. I don't want blown up right away. I want you to actually mine the tree. Okay. Go for it. Yep. Perfect. Um. Probably work better with an ankylo. Yeah. So it'd work better with a dinosaur that actually has a hit radius on it. it doesn't just. But you can place that on trees and like someone runs out with their Sarazino and harvest wood, they'll get blown up. And then you can do the same thing with people who are farming metal or stone and just place it on the bottom of the rocks. So like over here would be a good example. Take something like this, find a little spot where I get a little bit of an overhang, then go ahead and place the C4 right there. And when someone farms this, they hopefully will get blown up. So we're going to test that out right here. Now remember, an ankle will actually hit the C4 afterwards because it has a good hit radius. But I'm hoping just harvesting the stone will do it. And as you can tell, this is a time server, so... No, so an ankle would hit this, though. So you'd actually... These are only effective for dinosaurs. You cannot use them for just people. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you have someone that you know farms a certain area, just play C4 on the metal nodes there, and it'll be a welcome surprise to them. You can't really do it on small rocks, only the bigger ones. So there's a, those are two tricks you can do. Another one you can do is just, it's really simple, and you can do it to people, but, again, it's more effective for dinosaurs. It's just, you place down a foundation, Go in your inventory real quick. Make a chest. Now, someone who harvests stuff with a metal tool will probably get blown up by this too. But anyone doing it with stone tools will not. You can place like your C4 and stuff in here and then place a chest right over the top. And I can actually show you without getting blown up since I don't have metal tools. Metal tools do enough damage to destroy what's underneath. Uh, it's going to be a while, little while picking, so I'll leave my assistant to it. He's real nice and I'm actually 
he didn't want me to mention his name in this, so that's nice of him, but he's going to harvest that for me. And um, just say something in chat just before you break it, okay? I'm going to look over there. Um, next thing you can do is really pretty simple. So everyone has these little tiny like, huts everywhere. So you just do this, and then... Okay, here we go. So now the, their melt tool would break that instantly, but he had to hit it a couple times. And it would just blow them up. If they did it with a dinosaur, of course, it would blow them up instantly because it, the splash damage would go to that. But, like I said, can't spawn anything, so we can't use dinosaurs. Next thing is this little thing, but I need a little bit of wood. Oh, so this actually gave me an idea. You can throw down one of these. Put a campfire over it. And it kind of camouflages in there. Ouch. Three minute respawn timer. So as you can see, you can hide stuff in there like that. And if someone comes along with the dinosaur and destroys that, you could also like put C4 in there or something, but that will give them a really bad day. And that's a simple way of just hiding as much as you want to blow up. You can just lay one of these down, take out your C4. Now remember you could use this to enrage a Giga. Just lay down as much C4 as you want. And it's a nice little beauty. And then boom. And another thing is you can place these right up against enemy foundations I believe. So that would make it where these are amazing for just annoying people. And if you want to make it look a little more realistic, light a fire. There we go. So now someone walks up to this, oh nice little campfire, destroys it, and they won't be too happy. Okay, well, back to my original thing. So these are nice little firecrackers though. You can use those in PvP, just lay them out over the battlefield, and when they, someone comes out with the Giga to try and munch your Brontos, they'll run across one of those. No one will ever suspect it. Giga's enraged. Perfect. Next little trick is another defense trick because I'm this video is mainly de um, based around trolling and defense so here we go um, I did not drop that foundation Okay, back to this. So as you can see, nice little firecracker over there, but you still need some practical base defense things. So you could use narcotics traps or whatever you want for these, and then just same thing as the last one, except the only difference here is um, I think you may be able to cover this up with a foundation and it be sunken, but I'm not quite sure. But I figured out that if you barely cover these up with the bed, it not quite as convincing as the last one because they can still barely see it, but you can put the pillow over it and it kind of hides it pretty well. See, no one's really going to think of that. Just line that up in that little thing right there. Perfect. Now you can't unwire this, that's the only downfall to this one. So it makes it a little bit different of a build. But you can like set these out everywhere and you know, some will run up to destroy it, just one by ones like that, like this. And I didn't need to sink the foundation, so this was kind of a waste of time here. I'm sorry about that. But then you put your little walls up and storage chests. Don't test this, thank you. 
I just heard you spawn him right beside it. <laughs> okay, so then you put up your little doorway. Forget to shut your door. You know, that usual thing. Now these are best for servers where they're actively like fighting to keep you off of them. So if you have people who come destroy your base every day, this would work amazing. And remember, same thing, you can do as much C4 as you want. So if they're coming and showing up with griffins, you can place like tons and tons of C4 under here. And just completely destroy their day. Now, can I wire this from over here? No, I cannot. Uh, trying to place that under the bed. There we go. So ignore the first first couple back there. You want to place them under the bed, and you know just little one by ones you can leave laying around like that instead of an actual like base design. Another thing you can do is just um, let me see right. Here. I need a thatch foundation. Actually, I think these pretty much did that a lot better than what I was going to show you. But here's another option. If you want to get a little bit more attention drawn to you, you could do something like this. Take a thatch foundation. Take a storage chest. So see how you can place storage chests on the ground? These things would serve a similar purpose and actually make it where people attack them. Um, I'm out of traps. Can you run and get me some real quick? Explosive traps? Thank you. So these would ser serve a similar purpose. The only difference is people would actually go after these to destroy them without someone being near it. Thank you. Okay. So you just place down one of these. Or whatever, and then put a little bit of C4 to add whatever amount of bang you want. And then add storage chest right over the top. Set a pin code. And voila, no need to break it. There I know it's going to happen. <laughs> so someone comes along, Griffin sees that, decides to clutter, destroys it. No need. Thank you. Gosh, don't blow us up. That's, what, that's all he wants to do right now is blow us up. I'm encumbered. Dang it. So you can build whatever kind of thing you want with your base like that. And there's a lot of ways you can incorporate this into your base. For instance, I could lay down a small base just like this. Put up my walls. And now I could demolish my wall actually and put this like inside of it this way. Just like that. Now you could probably put it more in there, but for the sake of this, I'm not going to do that. And then, yeah, kind of have them inside your walls. Or you could do this. Just place them down like you normally would. Actually, I'm just going to go with what I have over here. So take this. Then build two storage chests. And if the bed thing across the floor is a little too obvious, which I doubt anyone's going to be catching on to that anytime soon, you can start putting chests just right up against these. I'm going to unwire it first. So then just put chests right up against these. Just like this. And then I guess I'm gonna have to demolish a wall.
do that, then place the wall over it again, which I don't have enough to build real quick. What am I out of? Wooden fiber. So, um, assistant, do you have wooden fiber? There we go, we're good. Thank you. So here we go, a little bit more wood. Now we're good. Uh, C4 off my back, please. Then you just, I guess I'm going to have to place this a little bit more forward since I keep not being able to place anything. There we go, we'll do that. And here we go again. Okay. Now you just have this little tiny wire running across your thing so when someone runs up, sees your door open, they can walk right in there. Uh, assistant, for nicely placing a C4 on my back, I guess um, I'll test it out, whatever. So, all you'd have to do, detonate our way, I want them to know it works, thank you, is walk right in here and bam. So yeah, some nice little tricks. Um, I'll be posting another video, I have a few more, but I can't get them right off the top of my head, I've been trying to think of them in this whole video. Okay, well, have a nice day guys, and I'll see you later.